Hey guys, what's up? This video is going to cover how to help when your dog goes crazy around other dogs. We'll also be talking about how to use Leslie McDevitt's Control Unleashed methods for reactive dogs. Erica Pasha here with The Kind Canine, where we help you strengthen and energize the relationship with your dog. If you're enjoying these videos we've been making about dog reactivity, make sure you're giving them a thumbs up to let us know. Everything we're going to be talking about here today is linked in the description box below, so make sure you check that out before you go. Ready to figure out how you can help keep your dog from going crazy around other dogs? Let's get to it! Have you ever been out on a walk with your dog and everything is going smoothly until your dog sees another dog, maybe a person, and they just explode? Barking, jumping, and lunging at the end of the leash, maybe even growling or snarling at the other dog or person? If you've ever witnessed this firsthand, you know how scary this can be for both you and for your dog. Many people are surprised by this behavior, especially because they know that their dog would never hurt a fly. The word we use to describe this type of over-the-top behavior we see from dogs is reactive or reactivity, as in the dog is overreacting to things in their environment. The trigger for this dog's behavior could be another dog or a person, a bike riding by, or maybe they're reactive only on leash, even though off-leash greetings always go well. Dog reactivity can be embarrassing, overwhelming, or scary for the dog guardian. Trust me, I know. But you should be aware that there are a lot of techniques that we can use to address your dog's reactivity. The good news is that ultimately, for many dogs, a calm and collected dog is possible. One system of strategies we can use to address the reactivity is Leslie McDevitt's Control Unleashed program. What is Control Unleashed? Leslie McDevitt's Control Unleashed program teaches dogs to offer calm default behaviors, or behaviors the dog engages in without being asked to do so, almost like second nature. This helps dogs to learn how to problem solve and makes good choices about their behavior on their own without you actually having to give instructions along the way. Stay tuned to the end of the video, as we'll be covering a game from Control Unleashed called Look at That, which you can develop as a default behavior for your dog. Default behaviors not only save a bunch of time on your part in the long run, I don't know about you, but I'd much rather not bark orders at my dogs all day. They can also teach your dogs to make more appropriate decisions for themselves. Default behaviors can be particularly useful for dogs struggling with reactivity in various situations. When they're feeling the big feelings, such as frustration, overexcitement, or confusion, these skills can give them something that they can totally control. That kind of independence can help boost a dog's confidence and keep them engaged in their learning brain, rather than going straight to fight or flight mode. Strong, well-practiced default behaviors could ultimately mean the difference between your dog barking and straining at the end of the leash because of a dog across the street, or your dog self-soothing without a theatrical display while you get them to a place where they can settle. These default behaviors help to form a foundation for your dog to work from when they encounter other dogs or people while out on walks. But it's not just out on walks where this can be helpful. This is for all potentially scary or novel situations that you and your dog might find themselves in. Control Unleashed prioritizes changing the dog's association with its world, helping the dog to feel more calm and relaxed in everyday situations. Leslie McDevitt shares a wonderful sentiment about the focus of this work. Our goal is not merely to change behavior, it is to change how the dog is feeling. When your dog is feeling functional, he will behave functionally. If you've checked out any of our other videos on reactivity, you might recognize that this is exactly what bat training aims to do as well. In my experience, using elements of bat training and control unleashed in tandem have resulted in some pretty remarkable changes for the dogs that we work with. You can check out the video we made about bat training if you'd like to learn more. Let's go over some of the default behaviors that are taught using Control Unleashed. One, the look at that game, or LAT for short. Two, pattern games teaching reorientation to the handler. Three, taking a deep breath. And four, mat training. While these are all important components of the Control Unleashed work, in this video, we'll be focusing on the look at that game. If you'd like to explore more elements of Control Unleashed, which you definitely should, I highly recommend buying Leslie McDevitt's book, Control Unleashed, Reactive to Relaxed. You can find a link in the description below. Look at that. 
The look at that game, called LAT for short, teaches the dog that the appearance of distractions or potential triggers becomes an environmental cue for handler focus. Put another way, we want the dog to learn that when they see another dog or person, they look at their handler instead of barking, jumping, and lunging at the end of the leash. Here's how it works. First, we teach our dog to look at a neutral object, such as a book. We mark the moment they look at the book with a verbal marker, such as yes, or a click with a clicker. After hearing the marker, your dog will reorient toward you for a reward. This is assuming you have already conditioned your marker to mean that a reward is coming from you. Practice this skill until the dog is quickly turning back to you after looking at the book, marking and rewarding the moment they look back to you. We often call this disengaging. Start to give a name to the cue you're creating. Where's Where is the book? the book? And marking rewarding for looking at the object and orienting back to you. Now we can begin to generalize the skill with potential triggers. Start at a distance from the thing that your dog is concerned about. We want our dogs to be under threshold, cool as a cucumber. For more information on this, check out one of our previous videos, Stop Barking on Walks, to learn more about this concept and to find a distance that is appropriate for you and your dog. When your dog looks at the trigger, we mark and reward once again, going all the way back to the very first thing we did with the book. It's important to go back to the basics and not move too quickly since your dog doesn't have the skill well generalized at this point. When you're getting that reliable quick head turn back to you once again, you can move forward with adding a cue such as, where is the dog? Marking and rewarding for the orientation back to you after looking at the dog. Here are a few quick notes about this skill. If if your dog can't turn back to you when you mark for looking at the trigger, you are too close to play look at that. Get some distance and try again. Play it with your dog every time you see a trigger at a distance your dog can handle to help them learn that when they see frustrating or scary things, they can rely on you to keep up the pattern. If your dog is over threshold, barking or lunging or frantic, they're not in the headspace for learning. We need to honor their need for distance and make the adjustments to our training setups, getting more distance the next time. I use so many elements from Control Unleashed in the work that I do with reactive dogs and I can't speak highly enough about Leslie's books. It's life-changing for so many dogs. The strategic use of patterns help engage a dog in familiar, predictable tasks and oftentimes predictability is incompatible with fear. Think about it. If you know what to expect in a given situation, Aren't you less stressed about it? When our dogs are given the tools to thrive independently and freely open up a dialogue with us when there's something concerning in the environment, instead of being corrected for reactions, we get a beautiful relationship with our dogs. I want my dogs to be able to tell me things like, hey, I see a person over there. Do you see that person over there? as they offer me focus instead of immediately reacting. I want to be able to say things like, oh yeah, that person over there, thanks for pointing that out to me. No big deal. Here's a cookie. Let's move on. When we open the line of communication for our dogs and teach them what we would like them to do instead of punishing them for what they are currently doing, we are truly thriving as a team. This only scratches the surface of what the Control Unleashed training program has to offer for reactive dogs. While we've covered the look at that game in detail, the building block behaviors of Control Unleashed include breath work, mat work, and various pattern games. Just to name a few. Working with your dog's reactivity can be one of the most challenging behaviors that dog guardians face. That's why I always recommend working with a force-free trainer to support your dog as they learn that the world is not such a scary place. There are even Control Unleashed certified trainers called CCUIs that you can work with. Believe me, it will be time and money well spent if you're struggling with these behaviors with your dog. You can find more information in the description box below. Dog reactivity can be a lot to handle. I know. My training journey with Nia has had many ups and downs as we've learned her limits and worked to create a world for her that is full of fun and positive experiences. Although dog reactivity can get intense, do know that you're not alone in this journey. Reach out for help when you need it and take it slow when your dog needs it. They will thank you for it. If you're new here, please be sure you're subscribed to our channel so that you can get updates whenever we post a new video. Here at The Kind Canine, we focus on giving you the tips, mindset, and philosophies behind creating a strong and energetic relationship with your dog. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.